Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I've been having a bit of a rough time since the new patch because the second deck that I experimented with was Nesot Highland Mage. It's a deck that doesn't show up on HS Replay at all and probably for good reason. This is the best build that I was able to come up with. I had 50% win rate with this one. The previous ones were doing even worse. And yeah, it's just... It's hard to survive. Survival is really, really difficult in the world where shamans just evolve stuff all the time on you and boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that, that's harsh. Anyway, this build with the Henchclan Hogsteed, Doomsayer, Flame Ward, I'm trying to find some ways to fight back on the early game, but overall doesn't seem to work too well. Even though there are some nice things that you can do with an Assault Mage, because there's like Sylvanas Windrunner and Conjurer's Calling, so that you can steal some stuff and get yourself random six drops. Some pretty sweet moves, but those moves just don't seem to be enough to save the archetype. If you enjoy this content, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And I took some gameplay footage of this deck for a couple of days, so take a look for yourself. I'm actually keeping the Frostbolt because I'm a little bit scared that there's going to be an Underbelly Angler. And then I need to kill it. Let's see if we can do something against this Shaman here. Shaman kept three cards. It could also still be a quest Shaman. But it isn't. It could be a control Shaman. I mean, they can just transform everything. Leave nothing for the Nessoth. Oh, that's tricky. So now I think it's just evolved build. But I think I can't leave that up. I mean, I had the alternative to Arcane Intellect here. But I thought I couldn't leave an evil totem up. There's the hair, but there was no... no evolve. Scary? What if he's able to evolve later? Like, is he going to just play Flesh Shaper and evolve next turn? I think I have to kill two of the hairs. So that I can deny the Flesh Shaper play. I just can't let him have a Flesh Shaper play here. Are you telling me he had two hairs and evolve? No evolve. Okay. Scary times, scary times. I need to keep pinging away the hairs. If he can find evolve, now he could play Flesh Shaper and evolve. That would probably win the game even through Reno. There's the Flesh Shaper. And he top decked the Evolve. That probably wins. That probably just wins. What can you do? Reno isn't going to kill anything. But even Blizzard into Reno isn't going to kill anything. I think I need to play the card up now. Then probably go Blizzard next turn. Yeah, that hair. Hairline is great when it works. Yeah, Evolve is my least favorite card of all time, I suppose. It's actually sacrificing one of the... One of the four drops. That's good. Too bad that he rolled a 174 drop, that's so difficult to kill. Oh, he had a thing from below too. And a mutate for that. Okay. I see what you did there. So that's 15 damage, 16 damage. He's only 5 off. 
if I flame strike the board for example. What if I blizzard this board? That's not that's not enough damage. I have to play the flame strike here. I'd hope he doesn't have five from hand. Because if there's no five from hand then maybe there's a way. Well now he gets to discover a spell. So any damage wins the game. Okay. So far so good. Okay, I'm still alive. I'm a little low on health, but I'm still alive. Six, seven, ten. Too much for Reno to handle. But I can ping the reborn. Then I can blizzard. So we keep the board under control for the time being. As long as he can't find another revolve. Six held on the board. Eight held on the board. Eleven held on the board. No, but that was a healing totem. If it wasn't a healing totem, I would have had a board clear here. But because it was a healing totem, it healed him out of reach. Well, that was nasty. This is now 50% to pick Zepris. I need to get the Zepris with this one. But I don't, so I'm dead. Well, let's see about this Hunter game. I would have been in a good position if he didn't manage to roll the 25% healing totem, even though he had double hair, Mogu, Evolve Opener. But oh well, things happen. Alright, let's see about this Hunter then. He kept all of his cards. I assume it's going to be a Highlander Hunter. So what can I do? What is my it's the Mech Highlander build, maybe? I think I'll just jam a Doomsayer out there. Because right now, unless he has a Venomizer, this Doomsayer should be difficult to kill. And then we get rid of the 5 health minion. Well, now I've found a Polymorph, so I kind of want to bait him to Magnetize. Maybe not that badly, though. I think we're still pinging that one away. But it probably make Highlander because of the Spring Paw. I don't think a pure, pure mech build would ever run Spring Paw for anything. Outmaster is pretty decent. But that's not what I want to pull him off. I just played the bull para. For more rays of frost. Yeah sure, why not? I can use one ray here to freeze that. You know, of course all of his other minions will have rush so they can kill the bull para, but we're just trying to avoid a little bit of damage for the time being. I don't mind an Urzatron. Don't mind an Urzatron at all. Nine cards in hand. Ping away the Urzatron. I'll freeze that again. Keep avoiding damage for the time being. I dealt with some of the mechs now. Obviously there's stuff like Sleep Snap and Ciliax remaining. Maybe some other pieces too. So far so good. 
Let's get the card out there for now. Card out seems fine. Going to heal me a little bit. He wants to kill off his replicating menace. His one ones can have rushes, so they can also they can also kill the tree one body. We'll see. He could have his brand ready to go. Brand would be pretty sweet, I guess. Ooh, see a mat. See a mat is actually pretty sweet too. And it's given given rush. Okay, but this is not too bad yet. I can't get rid of the Siamut very easily here. But I can freeze the Siamut. So it's not too bad. Can't get anything too useful from the Zepris. Sylvanas and freeze the Siamut. It's an option. Mosi and freeze the Siamut is an option. Get rid of all these mechs so he can't magnetize on them. But if I do that, how do I... What is the plan to kill actually killing the Sea Amat? Still a little bit off from getting twisting nether from Zepris or anything like that. I guess that's more C and I'll freeze the Sea Amat. Let's do it like this. So that the Sea Amat cannot attack yet. I can keep it frozen for some time. Does he have the Bran? That is not Bran. That most certainly is not Bran. So, so far this is fine. I can simply flame strike here. And I can freeze the Siamat again. Okay. So we've seen most of the mechs. Going down to 14 obviously isn't fun. So I probably have to use the Zepris, right? I mean I could try to find Blizzard. That's unlikely. Flame Ward isn't strong enough. Still two cards left. What if there's a Bran? It's a present to Consecration. That's six mana. It means that I can also draw. But I do pick up the Blizzard. So now I could just play the Blizzard. I'm not used to Zepris yet. Okay, we clean up the board. I'm dead to Bran kill command. That's one way to die. But I do not die to that one. And now against Ciliax I can just do Sylvanas. Conjurer's Calling. Which steals the Ciliax for me. So that now, conveniently enough, I have a healing tool at my disposal. Unless he has a good way to deal with that. And a deadly shot that hits that one in tree is a good way to deal with that. That was unfortunate can give me healing. So we're still in this. That one in three deadly shot wasn't my favorite thing. Now I need healing from the Zepris. Let's get a healing spell. This I needed a... This was not good. This is not enough healing. I needed a better... Yeah, I was hoping for like healing touch. This is not good. Maybe I should have done more things then. Well, I'm going to have to use the Siphon Soul there. I 
But now, I mean, he has a three turn lethal at well, at least a three turn lethal. Perhaps even a faster one. This is not good enough. Kill command would have been lethal there. So then I need to play multi giant conjurer's calling, right? I have to try that, I think. Can I get a taunt? I can get a taunt. And then I just need to push face. Because he gets one card, one top deck. That top deck has to win the game for him. And it was a baited arrow that did. You know the slower builds with Taurus and can OTK you. There's even one that has that runs three flame wakers, two flame wakers and a fla faceless manipulator. Babylon book is a little bit of a surprise, I guess. I'm just ping it away. This is a nice portrait. I need to play 250 games of mage. What do you think about the new arts? I think they're pretty cool. I'm not sure what kind of mage this is. Could we be in a mirror? I looked on HS Replay trying to figure out how to improve this build. But on HS Replay there wasn't a single Highlander mage build that would have been played after the patch. Well, I, I have this whole steed. I can use these to kill that. Do we get rid of the Luna at least? We can still be in a, some kind of a mirror game. But we are not. Here comes the flames. Fan the flames. And I can't do Reno yet. But there's not enough mana yet at this point, so I can probably live with Apple Bomb into Reno next turn. Man, that Flame Waker has poor aim. I mean, I could try like Frost Nova Dooms here, but I don't think that's good enough. I think it's just Rotten Apple Bomb here, and then Reno next turn. There's currently 8 held on the board. There's not going to be that much more held on this board, right? Like, if there's an Apprentice, then it's 10 health. That would still die. But if he even wants to get rid of the minions, he has to play some spells. That was a good spell. But now he's very low on cards. Only two spells from the Cyclone. Oh, that hurts so bad. And perfect Reno board. Perfect Reno board. Only two spells from the Cyclone. That's pretty weak. But there's still another Flame Waker. What is the secret going to be? Well, it's a random secret, so I have no, absolutely no way to tell. Well, Scoundrel is a good one. Mm, so first I check for the Flame Wards and such things. Then I'll use the Scoundrel to check for Entity. Conjurer's Calling is pretty sweet. And it was Entity. I could make myself 3 drops, I could make myself 6 drops. 6 drops aren't that awesome. I think we'll make 
couple of tree drops out of that. See what happens next. Yeah, you really need to deal with the Vorgan. No way around that. Is there going to be Ragnaros next turn? It might also be later. I think this is okay. Because there could be a Rag in that deck. He might have to conserve strength a little bit, then go off with Flame Waker Apprentice a little bit later. But that first Flame Waker is pulled pretty quickly. I'm not sure how much I agree with it. So, not the time to Zephyrus. No. Ice Barrier, Ping. If I Zephyrus now, what am I going to get? Will I get any damage? I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. I'll get Gore Hull. Yeah, we take that. I think that's cool. Some potential damage for next turn. Okay, are there freezes av available? But if there are, then how many? Because I have seven from the gore, so I have eight from hand. I need to be able to do five. If there's one ray of frost, that's not enough. There needs to be more than one ray of frost. Yeah, that's just not enough. And then the core hole to the face. We'll try with this hand. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, I do have an arena quest. So, Shaman. Quest Shaman, I believe. Quest Shaman seems to be the top deck at the moment, according to statistics, but the sample sizes are still very low, so... Hard to say. I don't want to play the counter spell yet because he still has the coin. But the problem is that he can use coin and evolve on the same turn. So it can get complicated. Well, that's a pretty good two drop two. I have to use the Doomsayer here. And I think I have to freeze a minion, otherwise he might be able to kill the Doomsayer. But when I freeze a minion, he shouldn't be able to do that. Because if he coins Wasp, he now has 6 damage. Oh, he runs main the Gurchuk. Well, that was a surprise. A big surprise. Oh dear. I guess I need to play the Sandbinder. But it picks Rag, which isn't that effective. I could have Conjurer's Gold like my own Doomsayer to get a pair of two drops. Not sure if that would have been effective. The Henchclan Hogsteed can't do anything because he got the 2 6 Taunt for free. So the card that was designed for this matchup to prevent them from snowballing is unable to get its job done here. I could Conjurer's Call that, but I'm not sure how good that would be either. Rough times. I can't find Freezes or AoE or anything like that. He still has the coin. I need to kill off the Lackey. I think I need to take a hit over there. I'm just rapidly running out of time. And it's all because he got the 2-6 for free. If that wasn't there, then Hogsteed would have done wonders. 
I would have been able to do so much work here. But because of that I haven't been able to do anything. Okay, at least he's playing properly. He's just hit face all the time. That's the way this game is meant to be played. That healing totem. I would have needed a Reno here or something. I just needed something. But I didn't have anything. Blizzard. Just just something. Perhaps. But no, there's nothing. These are not the most impressive four drops in the world either. I think I'm going to die. It seems that I'm going to die. I haven't found any healing, I haven't found any AoE. Just nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's a Reno. Can Reno clear the board? Three, six, ten. No, Reno cannot even clear the board. What I need to do is I need to run both of these into that one. Then I need to play Reno, and Reno has to kill everything but one minion. And then that one minion I can freeze. Well, actually, Reno didn't have enough damage to kill them anyway. Well Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.